Hi Sagittarius friends, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your March 2020 monthly love reading for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. Sorry about last month's readings. I was traveling. You know how it is. But I'm back, ready to go. I'm using the Muse Tarot deck for you guys. Sagittarius friends. March 2020. Page of Materials, Page of Pentacles. Could be dealing with an earth sign or you could have earth in your chart. Could be receiving some kind of friendship offer. Sag, those of you that would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Instant Go. Links to everything that you guys need are right below the video in the description box. I do Facebook Live and Instagram Live every week. Love to have you guys there. Um, Taurus just got this same card. Okay, Six of Pentacles, very generous energy, give and take, getting what you deserve, what you want, and the sun, you know, definitely you and your partner. you do have the king of wands here too so it's either you as a fire sign sagittarius male or you could be dealing with the, with a leo for some of you we some of you definitely have a partner that's a fire sign could be in their moon or rising there are big changes surrounding you. Fool, definitely new beginnings here. But for those of you that are single, a new relationship, possibly an Aries, is walking right into your life. I feel like it is someone new. For those of you that are totally single, there is something risky about this relationship. It's a risk, a leap of faith. Just stepping out into the unknown. But look at this, though. They're stepping right into the light here. And with the sun. I mean, it, it, I feel like it is going to lead you to great happiness. Contentment. You know... With the sun, there's happiness. It's the most positive card in the entire deck. It's positive energy around you and new beginnings by risking something and starting something new with someone. Right in the middle. I love this right in the middle. Chariot, ultimate victory and success card. Sign of cancer. It's moving forward within your love life. And I see that you've been waiting for this. You've been waiting for this for a while with the Three of Wands, Three of Inspiration. You know, waiting for someone to come around, waiting on communication. This could be waiting for the perfect time, the op perfect opportunity. It could be with a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces female or you this could be you if you have water in your chart Scorpio Cancer Pisces but you also have the king of cups so definitely male whether you're male or female definitely strong water sign energy surrounding you you could be reuniting with the water sign 
a water sign could be coming back into your life. You could be waiting to see some really positive changes in the relationship with someone. If you or your partner don't have water in your chart, you know, with the Queen of Cups and the Queen of, of with the King and the Queen of Cups, it could represent that it is just a very emotional time for you, feeling very overly emotional. And if you've been waiting, that definitely could be the case. But I do see a lot of movement with the chariot, a lot of movement after waiting for someone or something. And some of you really could be dealing with a Scorpio with the tower. Now, this could be positive or negative depending on the surrounding cards. Unfortunately, this is a red flag. I do feel strongly some of you do need to be careful when making decisions this month, especially if you're dealing with a water sign. Most likely a Scorpio. But this is also, you know, big change here. Shocking turn of events. It could be a big surprise, but it could also be something that you don't like. If you don't make the right decision, it could be that, you know, you're meant to give someone a second chance that you've been waiting on. With the Five of Swords, I think some of you gave up or they gave up too soon. But keep in mind, Sag, this is definitely a time of new beginnings. If you give someone a second chance or if you have someone new coming into your life, there's beautiful, positive energy around it. If you're waiting, this is a time of a lot of movement and big changes. But you could also work against yourself with the Five of Swords. All right, let me grab you guys some more cards. Crystal Visions. Now, if you follow me on Facebook, Instagram, you know the card's got to pop for me, and I'm just going to focus on each row here. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Scorpio. I did make a mess of these. I don't even know how that happened. I'm so sorry. Okay. I think we got it right now. Okay. I said full. This jumped right out of the deck. All right, definitely this one. Okay, Five of Wands, the High Priestess, and the Empress. Nice. Taurus got that too in that clarifying position. I mean, there really is amazing energy surrounding you, Sagittarius. 
the sun, the empress. If you're looking for a relationship, it's a very good time for you to get into a relationship. But it does feel like there's something that you might do or you might work against yourself with the five of wands here. You know, you might be fighting something internally with yourself, you know, something within you. And I feel like if you're fighting something within you, this is what you're fighting is your intuition. What is it? What, what, what is your intuition telling you? You know, is it telling you that you should move on? Is your intuition telling you that there's someone out there that's better for you? It is going to be different for all of you. You know, it, it is a general reading. But I do feel for many of you that your intuition is key this month of March. This is the key to new beginnings. If you don't listen to your intuition, you could miss out. Love, happiness, abundance, this card, the sun, really, in the same spread, in a love rating. This could absolutely be an amazing month for you as long as you listen to your intuition. Those of you that are coupled with the Five of Wands, the Five of Swords, there could be some challenges, arguments, fights, just not seeing eye to eye with each other. You know, a lot of pet pettiness. Again, you know, just listen to your intuition. If it's worth it to fight like that, arguments, especially with the tower, can definitely get out of hand. Some of you might need to heal your relationship this month. But like I said, guys, there's amazing energy surrounding you this month. And you, you really could make this happen. And you have ultimate victory and success. The chariot, the sun, the empress. Some of you are definitely dealing with an Aries. Maybe a Taurus, but I doubt it. Or a Scorpio. Aries female, Scorpio male. Possibly a Leo. I definitely got Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Whether it's the, with the person you're with or a new person coming in. Those of you that are coupled, married, I feel like you need to express yourself more. You know, not keep everything to yourself. Tell this person how you're feeling. Spend time together. Sagittarius, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. And also click the bell because YouTube's been acting a little weird. People aren't getting notified and I am going to be going live for you guys very shortly here next week actually doing daily readings for you guys so you want to make sure you click that bell make sure it's on love you guys and i'll see you back here soon